Checking back in with the Black and Gold Network here with men's soccer head coach Chris Kelderman. Coach, big day yesterday. Uh, the all conference uh, team came out, player of the year. And uh, at the end of the day, Lori Bell comes up on the top, player of the year in the conference. Yeah. Just first of all, your thoughts on that? Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm very excited, obviously, for, for Lori. I thought it was well deserved. You know, he's had a tremendous year, uh, you know, in, in various categories, being a team leader, uh, coming up big. Winning, you know, helping us win games by scoring some big time goals, and he scored a lot of goals and gotten a lot of points, and uh, it's great that he's being recognized for that. So, in addition to player of the year, he was offensive player of the year, also a member of the first team for the second year in a row. Look at the the list: other players, other Panthers on the first team, senior Andrew Stone. Yeah, Stone has uh, been a mainstay in the conference, uh, you know, throughout his whole college career. He's a big guy, he's a big, strong defender, and. Uh, very noticeable on restarts offensively and defensively, and uh, he's been a leader for us on and off the field, and uh, real rewarded for him as well. I look at the second team. You guys had two players on the second team. Let's start with senior Robbie Boyd. Robbie Boyd has been a big part of this program. You know, uh, he's been through uh, some ups and downs to, uh, as the program has has gone over the the, the, the years of his, his stay here at UWM, and he's been a big part of that. And he's a captain, been a leader, and had a, an outstanding year on the offensive side as well. The other member of the second team then was uh, junior Luke Goodnetter. Luke has been, uh, you know, kind of uh, our connector, our leader in the midfield. You know, he's a very well balanced player, uh, very technical, smart, can be physical, and uh, just a very good all around player. And uh, I'm really excited that uh, he was honored. We had a bye from the first round, which was played last night. Wright State traveled to Cleveland State. Valparaiso traveled to Oakland. Both home, both home teams get the 2-1 victories. So Cleveland State and Oakland. Your thoughts, quick thoughts on those games last night? Yeah, I mean, you know they were going to be difficult, you know, games to uh, to try to get a victory for anybody who's playing. You know, I, there's been so much parity in our conference, and you know the Horizon League's pretty much been that way uh, since since I've been a part of it. So it was interesting to sit back and watch the games and and just wonder, you know, what's going to happen because it's tough to predict. But uh, you know. Um, it's 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 kind of fitting that uh, the one two three four seeds are going into the final four of the tournament, and it's going to be challenging. You know, everybody's going to have to to play their best to uh, to advance, and we certainly know that going against Oakland is going to be a tough match. They're a very good team, and uh, we're going to need to be playing our best soccer. I was going to say Friday four o'clock UIC takes on Cleveland State. We'll have the seven o'clock game. Now you face Oakland University. What was it? Two and a half weeks ago, you guys. Uh, uh, earned a 2-1 victory over Oakland here in Engelman. What does that game mean at this point? Yeah, it was a tough game. You know, it's a game that shows that uh, both teams, you know, uh, on a given night, depending on how they play and this and that, they can win. And uh, we know that. You know, I know they were missing players uh, when we play them here in Milwaukee, and we are missing a couple players as well. So um, at a neutral site, you know, it's going to be a tough match. Uh, they're a hardworking team. Uh, you know, they attack hard, they defend hard, and uh, we just we know we're going to need to be our best. Last question then, obviously not to be thinking too far ahead, but your team will be in search of its ninth NCAA tournament appearance. I have a chance at that this weekend. Well, you know, we obviously have that in the back of our minds too. You know, uh, two wins this, this coming weekend means that we're in the national tournament, and that's quite an honor. That's uh, something that, you know, every collegiate soccer player is, is gunning for, is dreaming about, and uh, we're we're close. It's a possibility, and that's exciting, and uh, that's something. Obviously, uh, we're going to do our best to see if we can achieve it. Well, thanks for your time today, and certainly good luck in Chicago this weekend. Thank you very much.